Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Sorry for that. I have to switch to another video. The life isn't working. The network is breaking. Okay, let's 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 continue. First of all, um, the topic was um, why do jinns come to our life? Why do jinns like why do why jinns get attached to you? That was the topic. So I want to talk about why do jinns really attach to you, to us? Why do they follow us around? And the devil jinns, why do they come to harm us? What do we do to deserve this and stuff? Let me have this question, like, why? Why is this jinn coming to my life? Anyway, the answer to that question is, the jinns, they come to your life, for many reasons, not one reason, it could be many reasons. There is black magic, there is genes that come just to disturb you, there is genes who call themselves to be lovers, genes and stuff that they love you and all. And also, there are genes who are from the, uh, your ancestors, they used to work with them, and now they want to pass you the mantle to continue the job and stuff. There are genes who come because of revenge. There are genes who just like to harm people. For them, it's fun. There are genes who hate Muslims. It's their organization of shaitan. They hate the Muslims and they just want to harm them. If they see that you are doing anything great in life and stuff, and, you know, they just want to make sure that they try to ruin your life. So if you are someone who is who is religious, they want to make sure that you, you just you know, you start acting that you, you know you start being you sinful and stuff if you are into knowledge they want to make you lazy and make you to turn away from the righteous part there are many reasons there are many many reasons so we will start by why do jeans come to our life first of all like i said jeans comes to our life because number one it might be due to see him See here, it's called black magic in English. Some they call it sorcery. Hmm. See here, it's one of the major sins, the seven major sins, deadly ones, as even mentioned in the Hadith. See here, the one who is a sahir, the one who practices magician, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنِ اشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقًا They know for sure that whoever approaches magic have no share in the hereafter. The one who does magic have no share in the hereafter. So, they have no share. يَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّةِ They will enter hellfire. وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ أَمِينَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. So sometimes the, we have deep problems and all because someone went to the magician and they want to harm us because they are so jealous of us. And many, many a times the magic comes because someone is jealous of you. That's what all this problem comes. Jealous of you because you are wealthy. Jealous of you because you are brilliant in education, in work, in school, in whatsoever it is. Jealous, in, jealous of you because of you are making more money than them. Even if you are business partners, let's say our subs are even closer and we are doing the same business, I have more customers than you, you want to give like magic on me, subhanAllah. You know, we are in the same work field, you know, but I am doing better than you, I'm promoted and stuff, you hate this, like, you hate this, you are like, the person is like, why, why, is he, does he think he's better than me, or maybe if I cast this black like, magic on him, and then I ruin his life, and, you know, then I could take his place. People do black magic for many reasons. Uh, for many reasons. That's number one. Number one, they do black magic because it's of jealousy. And sometimes the people who do this black magic for us, some of these are our, some of them are our families, very close families. I don't want to mention names. I don't want to mention whether they are our this, they are our that. But sometimes, in fact, majority of them, from my experience, are from the family. And these are people who are very close to you. Subhanallah. These are people that they are related to you very closely, but they just 
it's just hatred. Because of you are doing better than them, you are doing better than their sons, you are doing better than their daughters, and or they hate your mother, or they hate your father, or maybe they had a fight with your mother, and they will be like, you will never have peace, you and your sons or daughters. SubhanAllah. Sometimes you hear people do black magic for reasons which we can't even imagine, you know. But Allah makinai, 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 so here we do uh, ziara. You go like this. There is a line. You just go and pass by, and then you go for the ziara. You can see behind me, and I don't know if you can see the green. It's like the green dome. Yeah, just inside there, you will have the and the For those who have not had the opportunity and. To come here, may Allah bless you all to come here. Amen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. It's a very blessed place. One prayer here, equivalent to a thousand rewards. Like a thousand times. Because other places, in Masjid Al Haram, in Mecca, 100,000 rewards. For each salah. In Masjid Al Nabawi, here, it's 1,000 rewards. Bait al Maqdis, Palestine, Masjid al Aqsa, 500, 500 rewards for, for, for Salah. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, whoever can come here for prayer, you come here, you come for Umrah, Barakallah. I mean, and may Allah bless all of you to be able to come here and facilitate the way for you all. I mean, like He facilitated the way for us. I mean, some people are rich, they have money, but they can't come here. So if you see yourself here, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all of make all of you of the make all of you to come here and he call you all to come here to perform Hajj and Umrah. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Now let's continue. So jinns comes to our life because of number one, black magic. So someone cast black magic on us. Number two Jinns comes to our life because you know they are very stubborn. They just see you and they are like, you know what? I want to come to this person's life. I don't care what happened to them. I don't care what they are doing. I don't care. Jinns don't care whether you are a president, whether you are a minister, whether you are a baby, whether you are an old woman, whether you are an old man, whether you are a youth, you are a boy. Subhanallah. Some jinns they just don't care at all. You know how devils are. Devils don't care. They don't care at all, at all. Sometimes you do look at a person and you hear them say, I want to kill this person. Just like that. For them it's fun. Someday will be bragging. They will like, do you know how many people I have killed in my life? May Allah protect us from the shaitan. I mean, that's why we see the shaitan. That's why we see our billahi in the shaitan. I mean, we see refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the, from the accord shaitan. Now, so the jinn can come to your life first of all because the jinn is like, I love this person. It's a total lie, they don't love you. For them, when they say, I love this person, it's more like a slavery. It's just like this person is like my concubine and stuff. Just, uh, I hate to say this, it. like a sex toy. You see, always you have a dream. You, if you're a woman, you see a man coming, always having intercourse with you. you. You don't even understand why. If you're a man, sometimes you also have women coming in your dream, always having intercourse with you. You know? That is for the ones that, that are, they are just full of desires and all. They just want to, that's like a rape. You have other ones, they are homeless. <laughs> that's, what I just, that's, that's what I used to call them, some of them. Homeless jeans. They are like roaming around, it's like they don't have nowhere to be and they are like, this way I see a person and they are like, you know what, I'm going to possess this person and make his body like my shelter. 
So you see those ones also they possess you like that without you doing anything to them. You have other ones also who are like they say, I came for revenge. He stepped on me, he banged the door on me or my son, he threw hot water on me. I'm gonna revenge. Inshallah, the Adhan is just called. Nice Adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت 
نبي محمد الفضيل بارك الله ما كان محمود الذي وعد إنك لا تخلف الميعاد رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا الحمد لله they just uh, make the call of a, of a prayer of Aisha so um, let's wrap up أيوة what I was saying is that the reason why the jinns they come to our life number one I mentioned about black magic I mentioned about some of them they just come to your life they say they love you they are lying they, you understand subhanallah there is baqi I don't know whether you guys you do hear about it baqi a grave whereby they bury the sahaba you see this place where my hand is this this lamp just behind it that's the place the baqi Inshallah, where the thousand Sahabas were buried. So let's wrap up. So um, what that what thing again? <laughs> I was doing live and then when the connection went bad, this is a recorded um, video. So Inshallah, we will have we will have uh, Inshallah some videos to talk about some things. Inshallah. So the reason why the jinns they come to our life and also is because some of them they just uh, your name you maybe you are someone who is very famous. They are very curious. They want to know who is this person that everyone is talking about. <laughs> some jinns are like this. I remember uh, back in days when we were in Mauritania, I heard there was a guy, you know, mashallah, mashallah. He memorized the Quran and I. How many riwayat he memorized? I'm, I heard a lot of riwayat. And mashallah is a very brilliant student. So they say the jinn possess him. And when they do ruqya, the jinn will be like, I want him to leave dirasa. Like, I want him to leave um, education and all. Everyone is talking about him. He's famous and all and stuff. What does he think he is? You know? I want him to be listening to musicians like Bob Mali or Loki Dubi. Billah. Subhanallah. So you see, sometimes the jinns, they, you become a righteous person, they hate that. They want you to be corrupted. They want you to be corrupt and be, be, just be wretched. How do they even call it? Wretched. <laughs> so sometimes that's, that's it. You are rich, they want you to be poor. You are brilliant, you are intelligent, you are smart, alhamdulillah, and all they want you to be stupid and all unintelligent. You are hardworking, they want you to be lazy. You just feel like you don't want to go to work anymore. This is what the kind of this is the kind of things that they do. You are good in your job, they just be like, you know what, trying to convince the boss and all to fire you. Your business is going very fine, they wanna come and fight your business so that customers wouldn't come and stuff. There is a lot of things that this these people they do. This jeans, but alhamdulillah what we're gonna do is uh, we can stop the video here, inshallah, and then we can continue another time. The same topic again, part two, is going to be part one. Wa akhiru da'wana, and alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, subhanakallahu wa bihamdik, ashadu allah ilaha ilaha anta nasta'afiruka, wa natubu ilayhi.